Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is November 3rd. This episode is related to EHANG in terms of the progress in general regulations for CAAC electric aircraft airworthiness standards. We are going to talk about the recent kickoff meeting for Civil Aviation Administration of China Electric Aircraft Airworthiness Standards work. Here is one related article. The article title is Civil Aviation Administration of China Electric Aircraft Airworthiness Standards Work Started. Here is another related article. The title is Establish an Airworthiness Standards Working Group to Independently Develop Airworthiness Regulations for Electric Aircraft. The kickoff meeting for China Civil Aviation Administration Electric Aircraft Airworthiness Standards work was successfully held. Next, let's see the specifics for the kickoff meeting. Recently on October 27, 2021, the Civil Aviation Administration of China's Electric Aircraft Airworthiness Standards work kickoff meeting was held at the Liaoning General Aviation Research Institute. Due to the impact of the current domestic pandemic situation, this meeting adopted network video conferencing and set up three subvenues of the Civil Aviation Administration of China, the Airworthiness Certification Center of China, and the Liaoning General Aviation Research Institute. The meeting was presided over by Su Feng, Deputy Director of the Aircraft Airworthiness Certification Department of the Civil Aviation Administration of China. Participants discussed the work related to the establishment of airworthiness standards for China's civil aviation electric aircraft. Next, let's see the purposes of establishing China's own electric aircraft airworthiness standards. Academician Yang Fengtian, chief scientist of the Liaoning General Aviation Research Institute, delivered a welcome speech. He stated that the right to interpret the existing airworthiness regulations is essentially controlled by the airworthiness authorities and aviation industry companies in the United States, Europe and other countries. The airworthiness regulations established on the basis of translating US and European regulations are not conducive to the airworthiness certification and industrial development of my country's civil new energy aviation products. As a result, a passive situation in which my country's new energy technology is stuck by the European and American airworthiness standard system has actually been formed. Establishing an innovative, leading, internationally compatible airworthiness standard system for new energy aircraft and mastering the international voice are issues that urgently need to be resolved in the development and certification of electric aircraft. It is also the significance of starting the airworthiness standards work for electric aircraft. Next, let's see the related works that have been done, and task assignments. At the meeting, Su Hai, deputy head of the RX-4E model of the Shenyang Certification Center of Civil Aviation, and Li Bijiang, deputy dean of the Liaoning General Aviation Research Institute, respectively reported on the RX-4E electric aircraft model review and the RX-4E and our times one e s electric aircraft airworthiness certification work. Professor Yang Xiaojun from University of Civil Aviation of China reported on the work plan of airworthiness standards for electric aircraft. The meeting determined that the Civil Aviation of China and Beijing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics should conduct safety theoretical research, the Shenyang Approval Center would formulate aviation regulations and model reviews, the Liaoning General Aviation Research Institute would conduct product development, operation and maintenance, and demonstrate compliance. It is determined to give full play to the coordination and cooperation of government, industry, academia, research, and end-user, and independently formulate airworthiness regulations for electric aircraft. Participants discussed the work of airworthiness standards and decided to establish an airworthiness standards working group with its leaders and members being selected. The meeting also determined the independent airworthiness regulations research and compilation team members, division of labor, main work content and planning. The above is the digest of the kickoff meeting. After the kickoff meeting, the participants held a roundtable meeting to continue to discuss the implementation of airworthiness standards for electric aircraft. Finally, let's see the preparation of the meeting and the conclusion remarks. Before the start of the meeting, all units carried out many investigations and discussions through various forms such as video and on-site office work to make adequate preparatory work for the meeting. 
The convening of this meeting will greatly promote the development of the country's airworthiness standards for electric aircraft. Independently developing the airworthiness regulations is an important starting point and a powerful measure to improve the discourse power and influence of the country's civil aviation standards, and it has important practical significance for the construction of a civil aviation power. As you may feel, it is likely that the eventual EHANG EH-216 certificate granting may rely on the completion of the CAAC Electric Aircraft Airworthiness Standards work, which has been started recently. Hopefully, the completion of the work will fall within the time frame for the EH-216 certification as provided by the EHANG management. What do you think? Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies and culture. Please subscribe.